the 1930s, Dallas's population had grown to 260,000, creating congestion on both the roadway and the railway. City engineers decided to confront the growth by redesigning three acres, part of the original town site which had blossomed into the modern city, and to build a triple underpass beneath the rail line. It was an innovation, a park designed to be experienced from a car, a very contemporary urban design, before California built its first freeway. It featured a number of beautification elements, art deco reflecting pools, garden structures, lamp posts, pergolas, and a sculpture of George Bannerman Dealey, the Dallas newspaper publisher for whom the art deco style park was named. Part of the design rerouted Elm Street as a one-way curved road that ran adjacent to the Texas School Book Depository building. In 1936, the Dallas Morning News hailed Dealey Plaza as the gateway to Dallas and a place that must surely play a great part in the future of this city. On November 22, 1963, the 35th President of the United States, John F. Kennedy, rode through Dealey Plaza in a motorcade down Elm Street toward the Triple Underpass. According to the clock on the Hertz sign atop the Texas School Book Depository, it was 12.30 p.m. From that moment on, Dealey Plaza's innovation would be transformed into a dark memory of national tragedy. The site is preserved just as it was in November 1963. This frozen moment in time has also preserved much of the original 1930s and 40s characteristics, which may otherwise have been replaced with skyscrapers as a result of Dallas's continued growth.